Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Now this is Gran Turismo 4. As a kid I loved this game and my PlayStation 2 would eventually stop reading the disc, presumably due to overuse, if that was even a thing. Ever since purchasing another of Sony's 6th generation console, I've been eager to get back into this awesome racer. Fair enough, it's aged about as well as a pint of milk that's been left in the sun, graphically anyway, but this was actually considered one of the best looking PS2 games at the time of its release date in 2004, or 2005 for North America and Europe. It didn't just have the looks, it had the gameplay to back it up. Interestingly though, while we're on the subject of looks, the NTSC region version of Gran Turismo 4 featured a 1080i mode, one of only four games on the console to do so. In reality, this meant that it could run at 576 by 960 and was stretched on the horizontal axis for a final resolution of 1728 by 960. It was then output at 1920 by 1080 or so I'm told. It's irrelevant to me because I live in the UK and so I only ever experienced the PAL version which on my ancient big back television looked a little like this. 10 year old me loved cruising around in a virtual Aston Martin though. I then thought to myself how good could this already good looking game really look and how would performance be affected. This is where emulation comes in. Using the power of my Ryzen 5, RX 5700 and 16 gigs of RAM, we can run the game at 3840 by 2160 with no performance loss. Now admittedly, it was laggy at first, but I was trying to record internally at 100 megabits per second, hence the occasional drops and stuff. After making a quick change, we were back to the action, this time running at a smooth 60 FPS even when recording using AMD Relive. I dare say that this could pass as an early PlayStation 3 title, now that the visuals are sharpened up a bit. So this is all well and good, and during a simple race the frame rates will remain solid, but what about when there are multiple competitors on screen? To test this, I was off to the Big Apple, though I couldn't just turn up in any old banger. I needed something that screamed class, something that said, now here comes a man with taste. Perfect. The Ambrosia Mobile was off to a flying start, topping out at just over 70 miles per hour. The frame rate still remained solid. Even with a GTX 480, an older flagship GPU, we were able to maintain a solid frame rate, albeit at lower resolutions, but it's still a better experience than that of the native one. I did push things a bit far when I tried to take my Prius off-roading at 5k and as you can see I experienced a minor inconvenience with visibility but I later found out that this was because I was adjusting the internal resolution as well as the emulator res causing a conflict. Switching to 5k was actually possible again with no adverse effects. At the time I thought the Prius was the problem so I traded it in for a second-hand Citroen Zara in a warming Rouge Lucifer. Not the best vehicle for off-roading, I'll admit, but a worthy match for a Fiat Panda nonetheless. Sabotage was my intention, though this ultimately backfired, and so did the car. After a cheeky restart and pretending like nothing had happened, I jumped back into the race and was honestly blown away at how good this particular stage looked. Just like when I ran some PS1 games at 4K a while back, I was surprised at what was beneath the pixelated and often distorted surface. I'm sorry I didn't test any more games today, but GT4 is the only one I have left on the platform nowadays, and I couldn't exactly go to any shops to find more due to the current circumstances. Nonetheless, whilst you are stuck indoors, it's always worth checking out a few emulators out there and if you have some PlayStation 2 games lying around then this could be the optimal way to play them. And it doesn't actually take much to run them at 1080p at the very least which is also quite surprising. Anyway thank you very much for watching I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did leave a like on it down below, leave a dislike if you didn't, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and hopefully I'll see all of you in the next one.